What's going on guys, Simply Pops here, and today I'm gonna to be doing a charge test on the iPhone 12. I have three power adapters here. This first one here is from Aukey. This is a 30 watt power adapter. It does have a USB-A and Type-C, but I'm gonna be utilizing the Type-C connection. And I have the Anchor. This is a 20 watt power adapter. And then we have the Aukey yet again, but this is an 18 watt power adapter. And also I'm gonna be using the official lightning cables during this test, but I did purchase the MagSafe charger. This is 40 bucks. It doesn't include a power adapter, which is unfortunate, but I'm gonna test this out towards the end because I wanna utilize that 20 watt. That's the best way to charge with the MagSafe if you have a 20 watt power adapter. So without further ado, let's just get started. Now currently all these iPhone 12s are completely dead. There's no power, I just gotta flip a switch. As soon as I flip it, we're gonna start the timer. So I'm gonna flip the switch in three, two, one, go. So I pressed it and we're gonna start that timer. Oh, my phone don't be going off. Okay, so they off. I actually wanna just turn off my notification so anything personal don't come up. So we always gonna silence that and they're off. So I saw the battery icons and the charge test has begun. Let the games begin. Okay, so the middle piece has booted up and that is actually the 20 watt power adapter. So the 20, power, the 20 watt power adapter from Anchor booted up fastest and it is currently sitting at, let's just let's do that. It's currently sitting at 2%. So that's definitely a good sign. Now we gotta wait for the others to boot up and boom, the 30 watt is getting ready to boot up. And I actually was supposed to lap all those times, but I'm gonna lap it at 10 minutes and see what percentage. So this is ready to go too as well. And shortly after we have the red iPhone, which is the 18 watt, which is last place. And still fairly quick, two minutes, be back in the game. All right, so now quickly check in the percentage. All right, so this one here is actually on 4%, while wow, this is on 4% and this is only on 2%. So 10 minutes in, so the red iPhone, the 18 watt power adapter is on 18% and the 20 watt power adapter is on 20% and let me guess 30? Nope, okay, so 20, so 20, 20, 18, 10 minutes. So I'll be back in another 10 minutes. Getting into 20 minutes now, checking the iPhones, we on 39% on the 18 watt, and on the 20 watt, we on 41%, and on the 30 watt, 40%. Oh, and there goes my alarm. So I'm gonna pause the video, I'll be back in another 10 minutes. All right, approaching to 30 minutes now. The 18 watt, 56%, the 20 watt, uh, 59% and then we have the 30 watt is 58% 45 minutes I decided to wait 15 minutes this time so we have the 18 watt power adapter on 76% and then we have the 20 watt at 78% and then we have the 30 watt at 77% all right so approaching to 1 hour 60 minutes we have the 18 watt at 84% and then we have the 20 watt at 85% and we have the 30 watt at 85%. So at this point on, the charging is gonna significantly slow down. So this is where it's gonna start taking a long time. But normally me, I disconnect my phone and I go on with my day. It's just amazing how fast these phones charge compared to the standard 5 watt power adapter or even the iPad charger. One hour and 30 minutes, we have the 18 watt at 97%, the 20 watt at 98%, and the 30 watt at 98%. So at this point, you guys get the idea. All right, slightly behind on time, one hour and 41 minutes. All right, 98 on the 18 watt, and on the 20 watt, 99, and on the 30, we have 99. One hour and 42 minutes, the 30 watt actually finished at 100%. The 20 watt is still at 99 and the 18 watt is still on 98%. So that's pretty interesting. The 30 watt ended up finished first. Might have probably been a little behind, but an hour and 44 minutes, the 20 watt completed and 
we saw 98 on the 18 watt so it makes it seem like the 18 watt is so slow but it's not slow it's the slowest on here but it's still fast an hour and 46 minutes the 18 watt completed all right so i'm about to do this again and test out the magsafe and see how that performs So next day later, I decided to call the night last night, and here we are, fresh in the morning. I'm here to test out the MagSafe charging with the 20 watt anchor power adapter. I'm doing this for science. Let's see how fast this is gonna charge. And this is the same timer from last night. This iPhone is completely dead. There's no juice on it whatsoever. I'm gonna actually plug it in now. And that's the convenience about MagSafe. No matter what, you gotta just put it on that pad. You know it's on the charger. It's no faultiness going on with that. Now, once I flip the switch, we're gonna start the timer. All right, so in three, two, one, go. So the surge protector is on and the iPhone is automatically gonna start. Now, keep in mind, the MagSafe charger, it supports up to 15 watts. So 15 watts are going into the iPhone and we get into the boot right now as we speak. But if you buy this for your iPhone 11 or any Qi enabled wireless charging phone, it's only gonna take, I believe it's 7.5 watts. So for me, MagSafe is just not worth it. Don't even, don't even waste your time with it. But I believe it's the future and Apple is heading for that future because we may not see the lightning port anymore. But we're gonna wait for this to boot up in a little bit. All right, so we've seen the Apple logo, two minutes and 30 seconds. We've seen the Apple logo, we've seen some life. And I'm gonna lap that. And there we go. You guys hear the little sound effect. I don't know if you guys heard the MagSafe charger, but currently, um, hold on, let me enter in this passcode. We on 2%, so just like the other power adapters. All right guys, so 10 minutes in, let's see what the percentage is looking like. We on 10%, 20 minutes and 30 seconds. All right, 19%, 31 minutes. We're well, getting into 32 minutes now. 26%. All right, 45 minutes approached. All right, so 34%. All right, one hour, we have 44%. All right, slowly approaching to one hour and 30 minutes. And I gotta leave soon, so 60%. This is kind of slow, I'm not even gonna lie. Um, if I had the, the phone plugged in, it would have been at a way higher percentage than that, but um, but you're gonna wait for it to finish up. All right, an hour and 45 minutes. Let's see, 65%. All right, two hours in, 69%. This is this is watching paint dry right now. Two hours and 30 minutes, max safe charging, 80%. So now. At this point, I could walk out the door, but we want to try to get this phone to 100%. All right, three hours. 89%. Three hours in, 31 minutes. Let's see. Okay, so 99%. Home stretch here. Maybe any minute, it should be jumping at 100%. Four hours. Four hours. Let's see. 100%, 100%, 100%. Still on 99%. Gotta be kidding me. All right, four minutes and one minute. 100%. All right, so I'm gonna step out for a second. I got some errands to do, and I'll give you guys my final conclusion. That's the charge test for the iPhone 12. And I'm sure this is gonna to correlate to the iPhone 12 Pro Max and the mini. We have the 18 watt, which the only reason why I included that was because last year Apple included the 18 watt power adapter on the iPhone 11 Pro and the Pro Max. And now we have the introduction of the 20 watt power adapter, which replaced the 18 watt. And that's why I included the 20 watt. And then we have the 30 watt, which surprised me because that actually was the fastest to charge. So that charged around an hour and 42 minutes. So that was just insane. And then we had MagSafe. MagSafe was like watching paint dry and I do not recommend MagSafe at all. It is 40 bucks, but you still have to buy the power adapter separately. So 
you're gonna have to spend another twenty dollars just to get that power adapter and then on top of that it charges the slowest so it's just for me it's just unnecessary i throw in the description to anchor and Alki. amazing power adapters and it's actually cheaper than apple's power adapter so highly recommend them pick up two if you have to you know if you pick up two it's like the same price as the magsafe in conclusion the 20 watt power adapter is the way to go and even so the 30 watt is pretty good too um but it's not much of a major difference to be like oh okay let me get the 30 watt instead of 20 it's like a two minute difference but the 18 watt is still no slouch either but be aware it is the slowest out of the 20 and the 30 but it's not by much and the magsafe well you guys saw that yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed or find this video interesting i appreciate it with a thumbs up make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on help me reach to 100k in 2020 i think we can do it if we really push if we really can push forward i think we can do this man so um yeah thank you guys so much for all of your overwhelming support